Have you experienced any troubles lately? How can I even ask such a question with a straight face? In John chapter 16, verse 33, Jesus says to us, I've said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. In this world you will have tribulation. No kidding. We learn that at a very young age. In fact, when we first enter into this world at our birth, within the first hour, we learn to cry. We learn that there are needs and desires, that there are hurts and pains that are a reality of our existence in this world. And as we grow in years and throughout our adult years, it becomes a daily lesson for us, doesn't it? There are illnesses, conflicts, troubles, addictions, Oh, I don't have to list them all, do I? You know them all too well. In this world, you will have tribulation. And indeed, we experience them in this world. There are natural disasters, conflicts, wars, pandemics, insecurities, economic troubles, job loss, and job reduction. Oh, I don't have to mention them all, do I? You know them all too well. In this world, you will have tribulation. And in our own personal lives, we know what our individual tribulations and trials and problems and struggles are. It's hard to forget them. These are the things that keep you awake at night. These are the things that cause you stress and worry. These are the things that tempt you to, to lash out against others, to be short-tempered, to blame others. These are the things that are so difficult to forget. I suspect most, if not all of us, can think back to our childhood and we can even remember some of the troubles and trials that we had at such a young age. It's not easy to forget these things, is it? And all of these sorts of troubles and difficulties come into our lives because of sin and the fall into sin. In Genesis chapter 3, we're told how Adam and Eve first sinned against God. The Lord God told them not to eat of the forbidden fruit, and yet humanity did so anyway. Even though God had warned us that if we would do so, there would be problems, yet we brought problems into this world. In this world, you will have tribulation. But Jesus says, take heart, for I have overcome the world. Jesus entered into this world and faced all the sort of so-called normal troubles that we experience. They're not really normal. When God created this world, he created everything good and perfect. We call them normal only because in our lifetime we've experienced, that's all we've experienced, nothing different. When Jesus entered in this world, he faced a world that had many tensions, just as our world today does. His people were in conflict with Rome. Rome was a threat. In fact, Rome was an occupying force. Jesus faced all of the troubles of this world, and yet did so without sin. Oh, we might be tempted to lash out against others, to become short-tempered, to blame others for our troubles and trials, but not Jesus. He did everything perfect. And he was willing to face the greatest tribulation of all, the wrath of God against the sin of the world. Jesus did so as he went to the cross, as he paid the price for us so that we might be forgiven. But Jesus has overcome. He is risen from the dead. He is alive. Easter has happened. And as we believe and trust in our Lord Jesus Christ, we have that great certainty that we too will overcome. Oh, it can be hard to, to believe this at times, especially when it feels like that the world is overcoming us. But Easter has happened. The resurrection is real and the promise is there for you. Take heart. I have overcome the world, Jesus says. Our sin is overcome for it is forgiven. 
And even though we experience troubles and trials now, we can face them with the same confidence the Apostle Paul did as he wrote to the Philippians in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. As we face this pandemic or whatever our own personal tribulations are, we can do so with the confidence of God who gives us the strength that we need. His grace will be sufficient. And the victory of the resurrection, that is ours as well. Death has been overcome. And that through faith in Jesus Christ, we too will live. Because Jesus lives, we will live. We will overcome. We will have a place in heavenly glory. This is a promise that we can hold to and, and cling to so dear. What a blessing it is to have those words from our Lord Jesus. Oh yes, in this world we will have tribulations. I don't need to remind you of that. You know that all too well. But Jesus says, take heart, for I have overcome the world. And so let us pray to our living Lord Jesus. Lord God, as you well know, in this world we face many troubles and tribulations. You know every trouble that comes upon us. For Lord God, you faced a world filled with tribulation. You are willing to face even the cross and death so that we might be forgiven. Lord Jesus, we know also that you have overcome this world. You have risen from the dead and defeated evil. And so, Lord, we ask that you'd be with us during this pandemic. We ask that you be with us in every tribulation that we experience in our life or that comes our way. Instill in us the faith and certainty that you have overcome this world and that through you we can do all things. Amen. In the hearing of these words from our Lord Jesus Christ, may God grant you his peace. Amen.